Welcome back. It's been nearly 900 days since Russia invaded Ukraine, and since then, many Ukrainians have immigrated to the U.S. searching for safety, including to places like North Dakota. Elizabeth Shores introduces us to one family who did that. Originally from Crimea, Yegor and Alexandra moved to Lithuania after Russia invaded Ukraine. They were looking for a safer place for their family of three to live. But they could still hear fighter jets overhead, and the schools would receive bomb threats, similar to the signs of war they'd seen previously. He says children at the two schools they sent their son to bullied him for his Ukrainian heritage. When you have a normal life, you never think about such little things, which can be uh, very... Uh, dramatic to someone or to some families, you know. Yegor says he saw information about programs offering work for immigrants in America on the news. An American organization offered Yegor a position through their program, but he turned it down because he wouldn't have been able to bring Alexandra and their son with him. But the family received another opportunity to come to the U.S. through the program North Dakotans for Ukraine. No, to что когда американцы дают, а они не дают, а предоставляют помощь и украинским семьям, они дают шанс на выживание людям um, when... и сохранить семьи. On July 21st, Marsha and Bill Petrie picked up Igor, Alexandra and their son from the Chicago airport. It was the first time they met in person. Igor and Alexandra say their son is still scared of loud noises, but they hope Bismarck will be a safer place for their family. It's Elizabeth Shores reporting in Crimea. Yegor was a marine engineer. He's still looking for a job here. Alexandra plans on taking English lessons while their son is about to go to school.